Well, in this video, we are going to talk about agents and what is the best way to create agents is using some framework that is excellent. Now, one of the excellent frameworks that I've come across is Agno. You can go to agno.com and have a look at their page. It's amazing. In this video, I'm going to talk about reasoning agents. Specifically, there are three things that you can do to make reasoning agents. Now, they have published all their codes on the GitHub. You can go ahead and uh, start this report report it already has 26k stars now this is the report that we are going to be working with but first of all what is reasoning basically the reasoning is the ability to think through a problem now in the last video of quen 3 i've demonstrated how we can use this model in thinking and non-thinking modes now agno has done something similar on a high level they have done a few things that will get your non-thinking agent to act as a thinking agent now there are other things that we want to discuss today let's get started reasoning gives the agents the ability to think before responding and analyze the results of their actions that is the tool called now at agno they are supporting three approaches the first is the reasoning models themselves there are tons of different models which can reason for example we have o3 mini we have all the o series of openai basically we have grok models we have cloud models and then we have the newest quen 3 the quen models and these models are the models that you can use to reason use the reasoning principles let's go and have a demo so if you go to the github repo you can clone this repo let me open up a folder so let me select this folder to work on let me go to cmd let me do code base dot enter this will open up a code editor in my case it's cursor and now we can clone this repo so get clone and paste in the repo if you go to agno go to cookbooks and go to reasoning you will see a list of folders so agents models teams tools if you go to models there if you go to grok model for example or take this example 9.11 or 9.9 .9, so which is greater 9.11 9.9 .9, which is bigger now you can use this deep seek r1 distill llama 70 billion to get the answer this itself is a reasoning model so it should be able to answer now you can see the integration it's pretty much pretty simple we just need to use agent class then just put the model and use it so we are using grok therefore we need to have that api key of grok if you go to grok console.grok.com slash keys you can create your own api key i'm gonna copy this api key and paste it here i'm gonna say set grok api underscore score key equal to put in the key and now it's ready for inference so what you can do is i can copy this path copy path and i can say python paste and we are asking which is bigger so let's go we're using a uh, deep seek r1 distill llama 70 billion and you can see that it's pretty much able to get the answer therefore 9.9 .9 is larger than 9.11 now these models that we see here are all these models they are reasoning models they are strong enough to answer and think for themselves but if we go one step forward and introduce something known as tools for the models so if you go to the tools folder you can get different examples of how you can use tools so for example we have this we introduce a thinking agent here this thinking agent we're using grok again but this time we're using llama 4 scout 17 billion and we are putting in these tools the first tool that we are going to use is the thinking tools now this is the tool that can convert any non-thinking models into thinking models so we have these tools there are two tools first tool is the thinking tool then we have the y finance tools now using these tools these are the instructions we want to compare a report of nvidia and tesla let's go and do this so we have grok already we have set the api key you can go and copy the path here and then you can say python and run this so this is going to run a bunch of things this is going to use the reasoning tools the y finance tools and give you everything that you need it's thinking through the problem so the first tool call that it did it was to think to write a report compare comparing nvidia and tesla and then it's using again the think get company info it's using the think again and then it's generating the response so using tools is a breeze in agno and with the introduction of thinking tools you can basically make any uh agent or any llm which is not a thinking agent as a thinking agent work as a thinking agent or you can go through these examples in depth and you can see how interesting 
interesting it is to test out different things and test out all the models that they have all the tools that they've designed and all the agents that we can create in a breeze in the next video i'm gonna go in depth in this into this concept but in the short video i really want to introduce you to the concept of thinking agents and specify that even if you don't have a model which can think but using the thinking tools uh, you can easily make that as a thinking agent until next video i hope to see you next time have a nice day